this group of birds here, they stay low. So they get you low, you know what I mean, and they keep you here. This group of birds here, they get you high, and they keep you here. Canadians over there, they don't jab. They get you high, they get you low. But once we get you together, yo, you ain't going home. This is the forbidden zone. I'm flying the birds 25 years. I'm a, I'm a bird brain, a pigeon guy, that's it. Now, I'm 59 years old. I've been messing with birds now since I'm about eight years old. One, I've been doing it since I'm about 10, so 61 years I have pigeons. We breed them every year. Every year I have babies. Those babies are like my babies. I, I band them, I take care of them, I feed them, I water them, you know? I raised 150 this year. You have responsibilities, you know that Without your assistance, guidance, and your efforts, these animals will not survive. I got about 230 birds there. Out of 230, I say about 210 of them, I raised them all. They all have my personal bands. There's thousands of different kinds of pigeons. Italian, you know, Persian, there's booties, there's tiplets, there's rollers. You can keep going on and on. Sitting back, looking at the birds, it relaxes me. It relaxes a lot of us. I don't know if you know how what they say when you sit there and you watch a fish tank, and it's real tranquil and soothing. And it's the same thing when you see the birds going around and around and watching them. I was in the tactical patrol force. We were fighting anti-riots day and night back in the 60s. My solitude was going up on the roof on the weekends, yeah. watching the birds fly. And then before you know it, you hate leaving them. Your desire is always to be with your birds, one way or another, you know. I shot dope at 13. I was in the drug program at 14. I did my first bid and I was 16. When all was said and done, the only thing that I had to fall back on was the birds. What kept me going, kept me motivated, was the birds. So there's quite a few of us that get birds a lot of thanks, saved a lot of us. The bottom line, at the end of the day, I'm always looking up. I'm always looking up at the sky. I'm always looking at who got birds, or what bird is that, or looking for the falcons or the hawks. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, this is the life. This is the life. I wouldn't trade it for nothing.